This episode of D News was proudly made possible by the all new 2015 Subaru Legacy. It's not just a sedan, it's a Subaru. How fast can a virus spread through a classroom or an office? The answer might surprise you around two to four hours. But stick around after the intro to find out how to avoid it. Washing your hands often. I am really bad at this whole stay tuned thing. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to D News, I'm Ross Everett. So without thinking, when it comes to transmitting viruses, what's worse, a sneeze or a hand? If you said a sneeze, not only are you talking to a video, but you're also wrong. It turns out that when it comes to spreading diseases, hands are actually the quickest way to disperse bacteria. A study done at the University of Arizona showed that a virus could spread from just one doorknob to an entire building within a couple of hours. And I went to the University of Arizona so I can confirm that those are some big buildings. Some rooms can become infected quicker than others because duh. Communal rooms like break rooms and bathrooms and game rooms are most susceptible to a virus spreading because they get the most traffic. When a hand touches a surface, it picks up between 30 and 50% of the organisms on it. But don't go all germaphobe on me because most bacteria is actually beneficial and strengthens your immune system. But other bacteria, say like the norovirus, you might want to avoid. So how does the virus get from your hand to your immune system? Take your hand off your face. Some of you right now are like, how did he know? Well, people touch their face about once every three minutes, and that's how it gets you. Good news is, it's easy to avoid getting the viruses into your system by just doing what every doctor or teacher or parent has always told you. Wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, or never leave your room. Okay, maybe not that last one. Unlike viruses, the quickest way to spread a video is by sharing it with your friends, so go ahead and do that with this. And be sure to subscribe to D News for more gross stories like this one.